How many types of income do you earn? Most people only have one source of income, but millionaires have multiple types of income. Income can be active or passive, or even a combination. And if you want to join the ranks of the wealthy, then you need to start planning today about how you can increase your sources of income. If you're relying on one source of income, you are taking on excessive risk as no income type is ever 100% secure. Reduce risk now. And beware that different types of income are all taxed differently, with some being taxed at almost 50% before you even see it. In this video, we're going to take you through the 12 types of income along with the pros and cons of each, and we'll even share with you the types of income that we're earning. Let's check it out. Welcome to Money Unshackle, the investing channel and website that sets you and your finances free. This is Andy, I'm Ben and if you like what we say, hit the like button and click subscribe. Also, on moneyunshackle.com, there's a ton of investment articles on there that you can read while you're bored at work. And we have hundreds of pounds of welcome bonuses that you can snap up if you sign up to one of the investment platforms listed on the offers page. The link is in the description below. Let's get into the video. Number one, earned income. This is the worst type of income and sadly the only one that is really ever taught in school. It's where you trade time directly for money, such as working a job. It's often low paid, highly taxed and zaps you of all energy, leaving you nothing left in the tank to think about creating new streams of income. In most cases, jobs will pay you just enough to stay over broke. Remember, job, J-O-B stands for just over broke. There are some people that earn big bucks with this type, but they are the exception, not the rule. People generally feel most comfortable with earned income, but it's the most risky. Your skills can become obsolete, you can become demotivated, and ill health can cause this income to dry up overnight. If you don't learn to escape this trap, then you will trade time for money until you die. Number two. Profit income. Another one you'll be familiar with, but for most people, this seems almost impossible to obtain. This is money that you make by selling something for more than what it costs you to make or purchase, such as when businesses sell goods and services. Many people dream of setting up this income type, but the perceived short-term risk is often too much to overcome. Many businesses fail or take years to turn a profit. This is often enough to deter most people from ever starting. Number three interest. This type of income most ordinary people can make alongside their earned income with relative ease. It is in fact the purest form of passive income. Interest income is the type of money that you get from lending money to other people to use, such as saving it in the bank, lending to corporations and the government in the form of buying corporate bonds and gilts. Interest rates are quite low right now, but better interest can be earned by taking on more risk. For instance, we both use peer-to-peer -peer lending to earn interest in the region of 6-7% and of course, you can earn up to 50-100 to pound cashback bonuses when you sign up to these platforms through referral links. You'll find many of these on our website at moneyandshackle.com. These higher rates, combined with the power of compounding, can really boost your returns over the long term. It is true that the more money you have, the more interest you can earn, but it's better to start lending money now and watch it grow than never to start at all. They say the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best is today. Number four, dividends. We think this is even better than interest. Dividends come from owning a business and have the payments made to the owners of those businesses. Most of us who receive dividends achieve this through owning stocks and shares and is another passive source of income that we ourselves earn. Dividend income is one that almost anybody can earn by investing in the stock market. Start investing today and the future you will thank you for it. Also, in the UK, dividends are barely taxed at just 7.5% for basic taxpayers and you can pay absolutely nothing at all if you invest through an ISA. Number five, rent. Rental income is paid to you in exchange for letting someone use an asset that you own, property being the most notable one. But rent can also be achieved on other things that you own such as equipment or smart attire. Property income is probably considered to be part passive and part active income. Lots of work has to be done to establish the property and maintain it, but the rental income is far more passive than working a job. 
Unfortunately, recent tax changes in the UK that have sought to punish landlords have made investing in property less desirable than before. Nevertheless, there are still fantastic gains out there to be achieved by anyone willing to try. Number six, capital gains. This is a form of income that you can earn when you sell an asset that you own, such as shares or a property that has appreciated in value. For example, if you had bought a property for 150,000 and sold it for 200,000, then you would make a 50,000 capital gain. A common phrase is, don't wait to buy property. Instead, buy property and wait. Capital gains tax for stocks and shares is very low compared to the tax on earned income. In fact, you can avoid all capital gains taxes if you invest through an ISA, but even if you don't, it's only going to be 10 or 20% and you also get a generous tax-free allowance. But if you're investing in property, the capital gains is going to be 18 or 28%. Number seven, royalty income. This is the money that you will earn by letting someone else use your products or ideas. Creative people are more likely to earn this type of income. For instance, an author or songwriter will earn royalty income each time their book is sold or song is played. But there are far more ways to earn royalty income. Note, for example, the B-roll video that we use in all of our videos. In order to use B-roll, like this one here, we have to make payments to companies that own the right to the footage. The original artist will receive a royalty for their use. Number eight, affiliate income. This has become extremely popular in recent years with the invention of social media allowing almost anybody to start earning affiliate income. This income source is where you will earn a commission when you refer somebody to a product and then they go on to buy that product. The largest affiliate scheme by far is operated by Amazon but there are plenty more on the market. You will probably see countless influencers promoting products who then get a commission for each and every sale. It can be extremely lucrative for all parties. In fact, we successfully use this income type ourselves when we partner up with investment platforms that we like. But to be a successful influencer, you can only promote good products that you like and agree with. We never promote anything that we don't use ourselves. Number nine, ads income. These days, everyone demands free stuff, but in one way or another, somebody's paying for it. Ad income can easily be earned by producing free content and gaining a following. Companies will then pay to target that audience by placing an ad. Likewise, you might download a free app, but it's not really free. You are then targeted with ads. Again, we use ad income effectively on our YouTube channel and website, moneyunshackle.com. Number 10, sponsorships, donations. Sponsorships was once only for the rich and famous. Picture David Beckham drinking from a Pepsi can or any other celebrity endorsement. The richer you get, it seems the less you have to pay for, as companies will bend over backwards to have you be seen with their products. These days, you just need a small personal brand. Some people will even donate money so that you can get off the ground. Patreon, for instance, is a way to facilitate donations to small YouTube channels and podcasts so that they can focus on creating content and additional exclusive content. Number 11, network marketing, multi-level marketing. This type of income can be earned by selling a product from a company that operates a multi-level marketing scheme. One can even set up a network of people where you earn a commission for all their sales as well. Essentially, once the network is established, this type of income transitions to a passive source of income. There is some controversy surrounding this income type as it is likened to that of a pyramid scheme. Although the potential income could be huge, you might not want to join as the people pushing it are often quite annoying constantly trying to get you to either buy something or join their network. Number 12, gambling. Finally, and one that almost certainly shouldn't be for most people. Gambling can be very lucrative if you have the skills to be a professional. Poker players, for example, can earn millions. Or you can gamble in the financial markets with spread betting. No matter your game of choice, in the UK, gambling profits are all tax free. Not bad. Question of the day, how many income streams do you have and are they enough to move away from the drudgery of earned income? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. On this channel we talk a lot about personal finance, investing and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is moneyunshackle.com. See you next time.